Namaste Pisces. Hi, it's Gaze. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your December 1st through to the 15th read. Ooh. We will go with the, my favorite deck at the moment. I'm like, who am I kidding? Oh, let's get the energy for this read first. Energy for Pisces, December 1st through to the 15th. Energies for Pisces, December 1st. One more card, please. One more. Oh. One more card, please. Okay. On the base of the deck, we've got writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. got let go walk away from the situation in order to resolve it we have study reading research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career and practice okay Pisces I think you're tapping into your creative more creative side you need to let go of negative energies or anything blocking you from working on this craft, this this new thing, this life purpose that you want, the life that you want, you're working on finding your purpose. It's either you read something or you're writing something, but you need to practice that regularly to polish your skills. So you're feeling very abundant right now, Pisces. You're creating something that is going to be of that you can pass down from generation to generation. Some generational wealth. It could also mean inheritance. Okay, these wanted to come as well. We have the Three of Swords. In your influences, in your emotional block, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups. In your expectations and your final outcome, we have the two of pentacles and the chariot. Okay. Let me just look at this. Okay, the two tens speak of some form of completion. And the two tens surrounding the three of swords, so it could be a third party situation. You've you've ended some kind of heartbreak, heartbreak that's in your life. The three of swords is um Jupiter sorry, Saturn and Libra energy. that you have options now because I see you here juggling two pentacles you are single at this moment in time you're juggling your finances but you're balancing out everything well we have a chariot here the chariot is cancer energy it speaks of single mindedness this is about being spiritually downloaded guided you've put a lot of thought into this to move on to move away from a situation you want to move away from juggling you're looking for a more you're moving towards because look at the chariot where it was placed the chariot is moving towards your tenor. you're moving towards your stability because something really broke you down it was really a burden but this 10 is about release, it's releasing because you have options as I said you but you need to choose wisely Pisces on the base of the deck we have the ace of wands this talks about a passionate new beginning 
You know, you see the lizard in the background. The lizard can bite off his tail and it will regrow. So you're, it's a passionate new beginning after some heartbreak. This is a new beginning in creativity. This is all the passion card, if you get my meaning. <laughs> get my meaning. This one goes to the core. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, this is the passionate new beginning. Yeah, somebody's coming to offer you. Either they're coming to apologize or they're offering to you as a page. But you're not going to accept the offer. You're moving away because you want to go to your wish fulfillment. Whoever broke your heart is going to try and offer back to you, but you're not going to accept this offer. Death card, that's Scorpio energy. Because you're wanting this new beginning. You've, you've transformed, you've changed. You've changed. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah. We have the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody who's been through um, a battle. You know, you've been hurt time and time again. But you still have the strength to move on. But you're looking back at something even though you're moving towards your talent you have the strength to move towards this new abundant beginning you're looking back at something even though you're looking back you're no longer trapped in your head you're no longer mentally trapped because it is in reverse what is the wounded warrior looking back at Oops. yeah you're looking back with clarity See the Palace of Swords? It means that you're looking at things from a higher, more higher perspective. This heartbreak that, heartbreak that you went through, it's raised your vibration. You see things for what they are. See? Queen of Cups showing up here on the base of the deck who's highly intuitive. You're seeing things for what they really are. Why is the Three of Swords here? In the influences this third party situation this heartbreak why is it there okay okay what came out was a star card which is aquarius energy and the three of wands so it's definitely um, a third party situation but you've definitely had some healing. You've done a lot of healing. And you're not you're letting go of what no longer serves you because you're looking to your distant horizons. You've had you've laid some foundation, you some new beginning. Because remember, we had the study, the writing, and the practice. So you've been working passionately on this new beginning. Whoever caused this heartbreak, they're now seeing you as the star. But they also know that you're looking to distant horizons now. Why is the Ten of Wands here? In the emotional block. Are you emotionally still holding on to this situation? This third party situation that you was in? We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. Why is the Knight of Pentacles showing up? I'll bring one more card out. The Knight of Cups. Okay. You're putting down this burden, but you're going to have... You're worried whether or not you're going to be financially stable and whether or not you are going to have romance again. Okay, but this is definitely end into you definitely ended the situation here with the ten of cups here and in your emotional block you're wondering if you're going to be stable now that you've ended this situation your 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 mind is on your finances as well as on as on love but it can also say that once you put this burden down you will have two knights come in to offer you offered to you why is the eight of seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here in expectations 
Of course you have lots of options right now, Pisces. Options that you've manifested with the Magician card. But we also have the King of Swords here. When the King of Swords shows up next to the Magician card, it shows somebody who is very manipulative. Somebody who's highly intelligent, that was very manipulative, that you're walking away from. You're expecting to get clean away from this character. Aquarius energy with the Six of Swords. As well as Mercury energy. This person was highly intelligent, but they were very cutting with their words. Unemotionally cold. If it's not somebody that... It could be someone who is um, a, a professional, like a lawyer, someone in the Navy. You know, someone with a, a very professional job. They manipulated, they played a lot of mind games. Surprise, the devil hasn't shown up. But you now have clarity of mind. You're no longer offering to that situation. You see through everything now. You see everything for what it is. You know, you're now single. And you've been managing your finances, even though you've had some trepidation about what the future is going to hold for you with finance and romance. But once you put down that reverse and re release this emotional block that you need this narcissistic person in your life, you'll be good. More than good. You'll be great. Fabulous. Why is the chariot and two of pentacles in the final outcome? Yeah, you're moving, you're successfully moving to more to a situation where there'll be equal give and take Libra energy, as well as the moon and Taurus energy. Yeah, because you are the Empress. If this is not a new child, a pregnancy, this, you are the Empress, you're showing up as the Empress. But somebody's spying on you, probably this King of Swords. Because he is underneath the Empress. You are the Empress. Oh my God, look what fell out. Onto the King of Swords. Further confirming that you need to move on from this character. Release that emotional block and allow this new, this new new to come in. Right? You're the Empress and you're going to get your Ten of Cups. You're going to get someone or somewhere... That is loyal to you and you're loyal to them where everybody's happy. Because you're moving towards your ten of, pentac ten of pentacles. That's stability for all concerned. Happiness. Loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Oh my gosh, some people can't spell that word. Yeah. You're going to be working very hard on this new situation you know you're very creative right now you've got some good news coming in we have somebody from the past could possibly wanting to come back and start out for a new beginning but this person there's a lot of fighting a lot of negativity and toxicity around them and you had to be mentally strong to stay away from this person Because you've received enlightenment you know what's going on you was in that situation a long time look at the child to the old man you was in that situation for a long time but you're recovering from it you see you have the key to your freedom now you've been divinely guided to find this key this breath of life breath of life your ang you've been divinely fighting divinely guided to recover because you've been enlightened you know your worth now you know you're above all of that confusion see I kid you not you're going towards your abundance abundance can be anything it could be abundance in character it could be abundance of loyal people around you finances You thought, Pisces, that you lost something of value. But you had the key 
to you over and fully know your abundance. Let's do one on this King of Swords person. What about this King of Swords? In isolation, as I said, you've moved on. It's a... I don't know what that is. You moved on, you've got faith, and you're grateful. You're grateful to be away from him because it was nothing but trickery. A facade, it was not real. What you was in was not real. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't balanced. It was a false perfection. And you persevered in it for a long time. And now you're walking away. You're being impartial to it now. You don't need that situation. Because you're finding your joy. Wow. Let me do some final cards. Final advice for my Pisces. Okay. This enlightenment is a gift from the universe. Okay. You've been getting downloads in your dreams and in your thoughts. Because you know when you're thinking, you can get caught up with negative thinking. Right, but negative thinking is not from God. Okay, God wouldn't, God is about love. Divine guidance. Yeah, you're being guided towards your family, a proper family. I kid you not, distant horizons that you're going to want to put your anchor down once you... Once you get to your destination with your main mail, it could be gender, could be fluid, could be man or woman, main person. You're on this new pathway towards it. Final card despair. No, because it's God's plan. The high honor card. You can't get a higher card than this. And look what fell off the miniature right away. Death and transformation, Scorpio energy, a new beginning. You're shedding your skin. This new, new, fabulous, wonderful beginning that's been divinely guided. God's plan. God's plan. Case Pisces. That was your December 1st through to the 15th free with Case at Frequency Phoenix 555. Please like. Where's my two thumbs? Like, subscribe, and share. And if you require personal reading from me, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. Namaste.